What's going on, water signs? How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Let's get into this reading. We're going to do a 15-minute short reading for my water signs for March. We have Simp in reverse that slid out here. <laughs> so air signs is out now. I'm going to be doing uh, short March readings for all the elements. Air is out now. So we had a flipper here. Somebody's hiding. Oh, this tinfoil hat wearer is hiding. Okay, so there, there is maybe <laughs> what I'm getting here is that in March... Some of the collective is going to be, um, people are going to be looking at you. They might be looking at you now, or they might be looking at you in March, like you're wearing a tinfoil hat. Okay, but the truth is, there's a simp here, okay, that's bothering you. They have a mask on. They could be masking up in your energy, or they could be masking up in real life here. But you're not crazy, collective. Okay, but pe my, people might be thinking, oh my God, this person is wearing a tinfoil hat. Okay, they're overthinking or they're looking too much into this. No, this person is crazy right here. This this one right here is a maniac. Okay, and you you and I know that collective. Okay, if you're watching this channel, you notice you're not you're not wearing no damn tinfoil hat. Okay, that's what they want you to think. Mm hmm. Yes, collective. Let's see what else is going on in March for the water signs. What's going on for my water signs in March? What is going on here? <laughs> so y'all are dealing with a simp here. A mask wearer. Okay. Okay, so this simp here, um, something didn't work out for this simp. Okay. Uh, their marriage did not work out. Something happened. They could have gotten a divorce. I see a uh, six, eight, and five here. So Taurus, um, Leo, and Gemini could be relevant here. It looked like the simp tried to apologize. Uh, they probably did something really bad. Okay, uh, but it didn't work because somebody got advice. Somebody. Uh, just, I guess, increase some knowledge here, went within. They could have soul searched a little bit. They could have gotten some coaching. They could have went to therapy. They could have uh, sought out somebody for help. But this person basically healed and this simp, uh, a relationship ended with this person. They have guilt and they have a lot of confessing to do. And it's possible somebody did not forgive this person and take them back. So, this kind of energy could be in the water sign energy for March. This person here who is probably stalking you. Let's see what else is going on here in March, my water signs. Somebody was trying to trap you in an overload here, like um, with excess stress or work. They wanted you to feel obligated to something. <laughs> Someone possibly could have, this person here, this simp, could also be feeling trapped and overloaded. Why is this simp in the water sign reading? They could be heavy in the energy, just trying to uh, clog your energy in your reading. They do this a lot here. Mm -hmm. This person, what it's showing me is that this person is very much heavy in your energy and they want to be in your readings. Like they're doing something, whether in, they could be doing spell work, they could be stalking heavily uh, or pulling cards on you here. Yeah, like I said. Okay. So that's what this person is doing. Um, but you're not blind to it. Blind in reverse. Mm hmm. And you're not lonely either. This person could be doing spell work for you to be lonely and blind, but they're in reverse. Okay, you see everything that's going on and you're not lonely. You're very happy and content. And this person is trying to uh, project and make you look like you're wearing a tinfoil hat. They could be telling people you're crazy, okay? But this person is the crazy one. They're doing spell work on you and, and pitiful. They're trying to make you blind so that you can't see. Or maybe they're trying to blind your third eye here is what I see here. But they're they're not going to have any success here. None. 
Yeah, somebody's trying to strategize to make you sick. What the hell? These people are crazy. Mm-hmm. This karmic is a nut job here. They were trying to predict and see what was going on in your life. They, they, they try to predict disease and they could have been trying to project this onto you. Uh, you might have been going through this. Um, I have 8, 35, 8. So a Leo could have been doing this to you possibly or you could be a Leo or have Leo in your chart. 12 here. Mm -hmm. Sagittarius could have been doing this possibly. But it looks like you have not, you might not have sued this person or done anything or protested or, you know, done anything extravagant or, or, or brought extra attention to it. You know, you could just be, you could, you could be saying stuff about it, but not really going, you know, off the deep end about it. 51 and 6. So somebody could have Gemini in their chart. 15 could be regular, uh, relevant. Okay, this person is stressed now because you're telling them to stop. Okay, something is making this person stop and now they're stressed. Either your ancestors, prayer, uh, ritual, whatever you're doing is making this person stop. Okay, some type of pause happened and this person is stressed out now and uh, they're lacking sleep. They try to make you sick and try to make you lack sleep and now it's happening to them. Somebody could have a uh, Libra in their chart or Pisces. This person doesn't think they're being stubborn. Um, they might even find that they they think they're being professional. They might say that this is professional. Maybe this is how they're used to conducting business. Uh, but something here, the withdrawal card says they need to quit and um, they need to stop doing this. They need to withdraw. These are like bad habits. This person could have habits here, smoking, drinking, and things like that. They're not being very professional. Mm hmm this person lost some kind of wealth or investment, money or property or something because they were doing some things in the imagination here. Uh, they might have been fantasizing too much, uh, daydreaming too much. Virgo could be relevant, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus. Yeah, so they tried to bind you here. It just jumped on the floor. So they're trying to bind you and hide it. Someone could have cancer in their chart that was trying to do this to you, or you could have cancer in your chart. They wanted your blessings so that they could indulge. Yeah. They try to bind you so that they can take your blessings and indulge with it. This person's a thief, basically. Okay, and you have evidence of it. It's very possible that you have evidence of it, or you're trying to detect something, or you found some type of proof, or you've been investigating and looking into this here. Okay, I have more. I have 555 here. That could be relevant. And 4, 7, 47 or 74 or March Pisces. Okay. Let's see here. What is to come for my water signs in March? What's going on? So the snake in your life here, whether this is you or the snake, whether this is, whether you're the snake or you're being snaked by someone, whoever the snake is, is going to be experiencing calamities, okay? With the snake card, eight or 13 could be relative or four, but this snake is going to be experiencing calamities in March. That's what it says here. So they, again, they try to w wish illness on you and now it's going to be happening to them. Yeah, they're going to have a tower moment with the lightning card here. They're going to have some type of tower moment in March. Mm -hmm. A surprise or some type of disaster is going to happen. And they might be close to it depending on how, if they, you know, if they're in the tower when it happens or if they're still, you know, messing around in it. They're going to have a disaster or a surprise. Something suddenly is going to happen. Six or 43 here. And the tarot card is a Scorpio card and a fire card. So possible. 
the ring, okay? So it looks like some of you are going to be having uh, some type of engagement or commitment with the ring card here, number 23. Mm -hmm. Queen of Hearts here. So sometimes something to do with love and marriage. Um, it says this card indicates is an indication of rich and happy marriage. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but these people here on the left are going to have a disappointment when it comes to love with this ring card here because they're just not uh, aligned with it. Mm -hmm. So you should be meeting the right person in March. A lot of the collective 23 or 5 could be relevant. Mm -hmm. That is very good news. We also have the gentleman card. <laughs> Let's see. 2, 19, and 18. A gentleman's fortune is being told. It's very possible that a gentleman is, um, a gentleman in your life is getting tower readings is what I see here. They could be getting tarot readings or they could be interested in their fortune or what's going to come for them. Hmm. Interesting. Number 19 or number two. Okay. Good health. Okay. And highest hopes with the tree card here. Number three and five could be relevant. Ten could be relevant. Hmm. Yep. Sudden shock from bad news. Okay. So your enemies will be experiencing a sudden shock from bad news here. Yeah. Yeah. That's too bad. Like these people are, um, they're going to have a tower moment. Two cards that say these people are going to have a tower moment in March if they're not having it right now. Let me get some tarot cards. Mm -hmm. What's going on for my water signs in March? Okay, so karmics are in the energy here. Let's see what's going on. This negative earth and air energy and negative water energy are showing up in your reading. Um, they still don't have anything. So the divine is just showing us that they don't have anything. They could still be plotting uh, and doing deals with the devil here with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, still trying to um, approach your energy for your Nine of Cups, for your Four of Wands, and so forth. And there's an Aquarius energy that's going to stop at nothing to try to do this here, to come for your Ten of Cups that you have, which is yours, okay? These people are experiencing a Tower moment. We already see that with the other decks, so there's nothing really to worry about. These people can't do anything, okay? But it's just here to let you know. They're struggling. All their cards are in reverse and they're demon-possessed. Most of these people here. Um, yeah, they don't have any divine connections, so they're coming for the Ten of Cups. They're going after this energy. See the death card right here. No need to pull any more for these people on this deck. They're going to be experiencing an ending. Lots of cards say this, and that's the end of the story. O could be relative. March is the month where they will be experiencing an ending. Too many cards um, verify that. Mm -hmm. And you will be having your Ten of Cups. You will be very much possibly communicating with your person and, and furthering in your relationship for March. Because these people are going to finally get out of your fucking hair. O is here again, so O could be relevant. Why? Mm -hmm. You? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, why you is what I see. Okay, L, N, 54 or 45, 35 or 53, 50, M, Monday. Monday could be significant. Somebody could be very loyal here. I see yummy, like yum. Somebody thinks you're delicious, like you're a snack collective. Okay, yes. 
Somebody could be feeling lonely without you right now. Somebody could be making money right now. I see money. Yes, collective. That's what I'm talking about for March. Seven could be relevant. March 7th could be relevant. 51 or 15, 39 or 1993, 45 or 54. We have Z here. Okay, we have A. Somebody could be lazy. This Z person could be very lazy. Or somebody could be lazy in, in your around you, but not you collective. Okay, this is somebody that's trying to come back in your energy. Hmm. Muy, I say muy, which is very in Spanish, like very, like a lot. Um, muy. So somebody could be doing a, too much in the Mar in March. They could be doing a lot, doing too much. This lazy person might be doing too much in March. Hmm. F. Fumi. A fume. Why? Hmm. Why well, came out twice? Hmm. Lan, lan, lamb. I see lamb, mall, many, many things, too much, muy, much. A lot so something is gonna be abundant something is gonna be abundant I keep seeing like many much a lot muy, which is very so something a lot is gonna be happening I mean you do have ten of cups so some type of abundance is happening I even see full so your cups are full is what I see. I see abundance here from you in March for sure there's too many words that and cards that signify that I see AL, AL could be significant, alloy, alloy, Oz, somebody could be going to jail. That was a TV show back in the day, Oz. Um, New York could be relevant, NYU could be relevant. collective well i'm gonna close this short reading here we have x at the bottom so somebody here could be an x all right that is your reading for march i'll do another one very soon sounds good water signs i'll see you on the next reading oh what are we gonna do next march april fire signs all right